and welcome to Storytime with Tom and Mike. I'm Tom. And that would make me Mike. Hey, Mike. Yes, sir. You know how you have ha- names for all your fingers and your thumb? You get thumb. Oh, absolutely. You mean like this is Frank and no, this no, is... No, no, no. Oh. No, I mean like there's like medical or at least accepted oh, terms. Like, okay, for all so, my phalanges. Yeah, so thumb, forefinger... Middle finger, index finger, or ring finger, uh, index finger. Yeah, I was gonna say, why would they call yeah. it the four finger? It's like the yeah. it's like the one four finger. finger. Yeah, it's it's like the one. This is the one finger. Okay, so yes, index the nose finger. picker, the flipper offer, the fucking wedding trap, and the old <laughs> fucking crack nail. <laughs> I don't right. know why I did this because it was cocaine, but you know what I mean. <laughs> he called it a crack. Like if you are gonna snort a crack rock, oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna oh. smell myself a crack. I like it. I go it smoke did. myself a marijuana. I like the crack rock in my in my nostril because it dissolves slowly over time. It's like a dip. <laughs> it makes me absolutely fucking insane. Yep, I bite through walls. It's been impossible uh, to be around. You ever see a man bite through a brick? You're yeah. about to. <laughs> 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 like it bites through it like a big old block of chocolate or Velveeta or something. Crunch. Oh, that's asinine. <laughs> oh man! Hey, cheers. Yeah. Clink, clink. Yep. Nice. We both did the salutary bang to the table too. Yeah, I that's wish important. I brought up more than one, but. Uh... Like well, I said, my my whole fucking shit got moved here, and I am like shoehorned in, and I can't fucking move. <laughs> if I have to pee, I'm just gonna have to do it in my pants. Wow, this well, is like be being an first. Endoro endurance driver. You know, you just gotta piss your pants. Yeah, you got time for a pit stop. An endurance driver. <laughs> How long do those guys go? Uh, I think most of the time it's like at least 12 hours that they're doing. Like it's usually done in in like teams like that. Like there'll be another guy that'll come in. Could you imagine driving in a fucking like on a track for 12 hours straight? I like 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 I dig like go-kart driving and stuff like that. But if you were to tell me like you got to ride that go-kart for 12 hours or drive your car for 12 hours, I'd be like, um... Do you have anything, I don't know, a little less uh, like that? I don't know. Like, could you? It, it, no, I can't yeah. do it. Yeah, like, yeah, okay. The so monotony. Not just the monotony, but the speed of it. It's that, I mean, they're <laughs> you going. You get done to your face with, like, permanently all to one yeah. side. <laughs> they're going so goddamn fast. They don't have yeah. time. They're bored and terrified in, in, in equal measures. They're, they're, they're borified. 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 Or. Or turd. Ter- terraboard. <laughs> ter- terror, terraboard. 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 <laughs> terraboard. Terraboard. It's like a terraboard <laughs> instead of tarot cards. I don't know. A tarot board. <laughs> but anyway, the reason I brought up the, the phalanges is because I was talking to Jennifer the other day and I was like, well, what do you call your toes? You've got your big toe and you've got your pinky toe but what are the other ones you don't have a ring toe or an index toe you know like you're not like going i think you just got the one that goes to market the one that goes to show the one that got roast beef the one that got none and then the one that went we 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 all the way home yeah yeah i think that's all you got roast beef roast beef actual roast beef not that fucking remember how hardy's used to make their roast beef it was like a bag of liquid with like chunks in it and they put it in the oven and then it would suddenly turn into a Solidify. loaf of roast beef. Yeah. Like nobody believes me when I tell that story and I'm like, it's true. And it was well, fucking delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Like, something was special about theirs that I don't get the same feeling from RV. No. Well, as you know, I live right next to a Hardee's. Yeah. Yes, I do. And so probably about three times a month i end up getting a roast beef sandwich there and there's something special about them yeah yeah i i think i made myself sick on one <laughs> and i think i made my dog sick too Uh-oh. because he tried a little bit and he threw up his whole bat he ate a whole bowl full of kibble and threw it all up great yeah. was it bad 
No, it tasted fine, but I was sick too. And I think it was just because I ate too much. Hmm, well, that could that could do it. So before we lose the point here, was that the point of the thing? Like you don't yeah. have names for your toes? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I thought this could be some deep <laughs> okay. conversation, but I don't True. know that it, there is that much depth to it now that I. Well, I mean, we got light. like your fingers are called phalanges. Is there like a term like that for toes? I don't know. Or are toes phalanges also? Because uh, I know like your hands have metacarpals and your feet have metatarsals. What? If I'm not mistaken. It's the medical term for toes. Piggies. Phalanges. They are still phalanges. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What name do toes have? <laughs> <laughs> Piggies. Okay. Oh, they do. Okay. The big toe is called the hel the halix, aka the big toe. The second toe is called the pointer toe. The third is the middle <laughs> toe. <laughs> the pointer toe. What is the oh pointing God. at? <laughs> well, this is your pointer <laughs> finger, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's funny. Uh, the third is called the middle toe or the long toe. Um. If the it's fourth, called the ring toe, I swear to God, I'm going to punch somebody. The fourth toe is called the ring toe. And that somebody's getting punched tomorrow. Yeah, I don't even yeah. know who. I'm just going to punch him and they're going to go whine him and go, fucking ring toe. <laughs> the last, the last toe. The little toe. Is also known as the pinky toe or the outermost toe. <clears throat> Why would you call it the fucking ring toe? Do people with toe rings wear them on their ring toe? I guess somebody's, they somebody's must. Be totally curious why they got punched tomorrow. They're just not going to know. They're not going to see it coming. You're just getting punched. You know don't random even, person. Don't even punch them. Put on our toe ring and kick them in the face with it. <laughs> <laughs> I broke my fucking toe. Why? Because I'm angry about it. <laughs> it doesn't make any goddamn sense. <laughs> I just love the idea of someone wearing a really burly like class ring on their toe like normally all the all the time not just one not just as a <sighs> little goof but like permanent. Well, could you imagine how bad that would fucking hurt? Oh yeah. Like my feet get sore as hell from walking around all day on them. Could you imagine adding a ring into the mix? <laughs> <laughs> I got these new special insoles so I can wear my class ring on my foot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Troy Aikman's walking around with a super wobble ring on his toe. He's got a fucking ring on his toe that's bigger than his big toe. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking nasty bad toe. He's oh, God. Gonna, oh, even he's worse. Gonna, he's got a <laughs> hole in his shoe so it can accommodate. Otherwise, it presses it's a, down. Well, that and so he can show it to people. He can be like, look, yeah. and he like sticks his foot way up. He's very flexible like that. Could you imagine right. how bad that fucking ring would smell? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, how bad does a ring already smell on your well, finger all the time? At least you wash like, your hands at different yeah. points throughout the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ain't nobody being like, I better wash my fucking toes quick. Well, I don't know <laughs> if, if anyone can see this, but like, you see that sort of indentation yeah that's yeah. if you see like that is like almost an eighth of a millimeter deep it's like almost like a half a millimeter deep right so when i was heavier i couldn't get my ring off at all and so like when i take did it did you off, ever freak out a little bit about that yeah we yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah you wanted to pull it off the, oh, i can't yeah, it's, yeah. it's uh, bionic now. <laughs> it's a part of me. My part of me stops being the ring and starts becoming Tom. <laughs> what is flesh and what is gold? I was talking to a friend of mine today and he said, I was telling him a story and he says, uh, yep, there it is. There's that moment I was waiting for when it became a Tom story. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I might recognize that point if I ever had, like, you know, the the time to sit and think about it. Well, right. Well, because I, I had I had been taking him on a little verbal journey, and I was telling him about the time that I had met the sergeant, the I'm sorry, the uh, the uh, surgeon general of the army uh, back in 1997. 
who if I I need to look who who that was Ronald Blank. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, yeah. So he he came into the good studio. old Doctor Blank. Doctor Blank. Yeah, he came into. I mean, the I'm studio. assuming you have to be a doctor in order to be a surgeon general. Kind of have to be, yeah. But I don't yeah, remember he ever was, Dr. C. Ever Coop. He was mm. a he was a four star general, and he, he he came into the office and it was just like pure like inner like almost like a a, a a supernatural like level of like calm and awareness and confidence, you know. Yes, that did come up in audio. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you saw the like, oops, I sharded face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm keeping that in for that reason, right? just for the face that you made. Fair enough. <laughs> but anyway, he had a, we were recording us because I was, this was in the TV studio and we were recording a, a message for him to send out to his troops overseas because he wasn't able to go to see them at that time he was on some other mission or whatever and so his mission probably being hanging out in washington dc and, and doing politics shit right you know? yeah um but he, he was he was like i mic'd him which was nerve-wracking because the guy had sh- tons of fucking medals and stuff now that you're also touching a four-star general right and i'm which a to me would be fucking terrifying yeah exactly i'm like what if i hurt, break him <laughs> you know like, <laughs> oh my god he's made of china yeah <laughs> you know like i break it or like i smudge his fucking brass or whatever mm-hmm. but anyway so i get the mic on him and then i i tell him all right sir i'm gonna I'm going to count down from five at three. I'm going to stop counting aloud. I'm going to just do like a wave of my arm twice. And then you're not going to see me after that because I'm going to step away into darkness so that you can focus on the your delivery. And he goes, OK, that sounds good. Well, so I take and this is where my friend said, oh, here comes. Here's where it becomes a Tom story. I take two big steps back. And there was this old metal stool that sat right behind me and I knocked it over and made a huge fucking noise. And, and, and like, of course the guy goes, Oh, I think he fell over. (laughs) (laughs) I think he fell over. Is he okay? Did he fall over? (laughs) The general saying this. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> well, at least he was a nice guy. Mm-hmm. He was like, I am very concerned for his well-being. Yeah. That's a nice story. But yeah, that was a definitely, yeah. That's what made that story a you story. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Because those are the sorts of things that make... Maybe it's that that's what I find worthy in a, in a story is when I have been thoroughly debased in some way. I usually like wait for the this is the moment where I took my shit filled underwear off and threw it out the window kind of a thing from yeah. you <laughs> or for me and that's when I farted or and I was that's just when say. I did something else you know yeah. that's absolutely disgusting you know did you ever see that meme it's like it says uh as soon as she touched my D, I farted and started shitting. Or I, I, I camed. No, as soon as she touched my penis, I camed and started farting. <laughs> or something like that. It's so stupid. Did you ever? Did you ever fart while uh, while a girl was you know going no. down on you? Never. Like Never. I've had the strongest urge oh, to, yeah. but even being as much of a pig as I generally am. I would never do that. Well, there's now, a I'm absolutely positive that I was pumping away a few times, you know, in the deed and ripped one. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I was like, oh, whoops, it just kind of slipped out there, even though I totally was like, Pfft. you know, like I pushed it out. You, oh, I was like, God. I can't nut with that pressure in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> That's insane. You know what I'm talking about, though. I like, do, yeah, I do. Like, if the temperature's not just in in a good range and everything, and you're like focusing <laughs> on trying to finish something that minuscule, would fuck everything up. It's feng shui. 
Yeah, like it's everything. Sexual, sexual feng shui. Now, when I was a kid, I could have fucked in an oven with a pine cone in my butt and somebody pinching my nose. I would have been fine. But like as I got older, I was like, everything has to be just so. <laughs> You know, well, nowadays, so. nowadays, no, no, no. The difference is you could have. Now you have to have the pine cone in your ass. Well, I mean, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to admit to that, but it's actually worse than a pine cone. Now I actually have several um, stuffed um, hedgehogs that. Okay. I I absolutely can't get off without. Well, you probably can't get them out. Well, easily. Is it? Is uh, it did, did you set up a rig up like if they're stuffed right? Maybe you can have like an internal rigging, like an umbrella that sort of retracts the spines. Is that what now, you've now got? you're on the right track? <laughs> now you're on the right track. Yes, <laughs> they go up smooth. Okay, and then like I push up on the tail and they they kind of umbrella out. Yeah, but, but uh, yeah, I, I I can't complete without them. Yeah, well, you know who who can't relate i mean you know some girls like those little pretty jeweled butt plugs and other people like an entire mm -hmm. wombat i gotta say like speaking of butt plugs is there any porn available now where the ladies are not wearing butt plugs anymore sure i sure. i just never seem to see it like i i dig butts and i try to look at butts on reddit and every time that i'm looking at a butt there's always a fucking big gaudy blue fake jewel sticking out of that asshole and well, i'm like i just I, don't it's kind of like it's kind of like shaved right like true true it, it's just it's some for some reason it fulfills a lot of dudes fantasy to have like this weirdly <laughs> de sex they're like i need a shaved care bear or i can't right. get off <laughs> right. it's got a fucking jewel in its ass <laughs> right yeah it doesn't make an awful lot of sense but yeah you know if i were a chick and i didn't have anybody in my life that i needed to stay loyal to and i felt that and i felt that confidence to do it i would probably have an only fans or something because why the fuck not why yeah, it, not make that uh, cheddar you know what your I mean? shape size right and nothing fucking matters nope. none of it is relevant not a bit no, well sorry none of it's relevant and at the same time it's all relevant it is but the point is that you'll find your your audience will find you with that kind of stuff yeah because there's something for everybody and everybody's into things and a lot of people who claim to have a certain like standard don't oh. really because uh, oh. people who I thought you were tell I thought you were saying don't to me because no, I was reaching no, no, under no, my no. table like what the fuck am I touching I thought you were going don't <laughs> no <laughs> no 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 no, no. That totally threw me the fuck off <laughs> all right I'm sorry <laughs> it's all right it's all right no <laughs> I mean you gave you a guilty conscience yeah or right the hell was that about i don't no, fucking know i was just what i'm saying is that those things don't um i don't remember what i was saying because i was so taken aback by your response to that actually yeah people people don't have standards that's what you were saying yeah uh, yeah exactly yeah. like they claim to uh but 99 percent of guys that i have ever met and i'm gonna include myself in this if they thought no one else would know about like the girl that maybe slipped a couple dozen notches below their normal standards when they were drunk or whatever. Mm -hmm. As long as no one knew, it's all right. As long as you're not cheating on anybody, you know what I mean? Like who's to, who's being hurt there, right? Uh, well, nobody really. Cause... I had an absolutely nasty sausage fingered girl that I had class with touch my dick in science class once, and nobody ever knew about it, and I was okay with it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, first of all, sausage first fingers. Of all, it's sausage fingers. Yeah. First of all, almost any female attention is, is, is good. Yeah. You know, You'll, like you, you will find a reason if you, if you truly want it. You'll find a reason to justify it. Any, any attention, regardless. Well, what my point is, that, and I said female attention. I sound like a fucking incel. What I mean to say is that someone that you find uh, the gender that you find attractive, 
showing attraction to you in that way, even if you don't find them attractive, changes the game. Oh yeah. There was a girl on my school bus who decided one day she proved that she could seduce me and, and just started playing with my hair and talking to me a certain way and stuff. And I was like potty in her hands. And I didn't, afterwards it was like a spell had been lifted from me. You know, I had to go home and masturbate, but after well, that I was fine. And I was like, I don't want to fuck her, <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you get these, you get these crazy inclinations uh, when you're drinking and, and especially if you uh, have seen like a lot of, not a lot of action for a while. <laughs> Yeah, You know, I say this as though I ever played the game, but the truth is that I've always been with Jennifer. So I played the game. I just never once scored any points <laughs> like at all. That's all right. I was letting you roll with it because, I mean, you understand it still. I do get it. Yes. It's, yeah. I, what I was saying is truthful. It's just that I was never a big player in it because I got I got lucky, honestly. And in more ways than one, not just because I met who I met, but also because I managed to keep her all this time and not lose her to my stupidity or or, you know, or my dashing good looks and great personality. You are like a kind of Corsair that just storms into my house dressed in leather and boots. <laughs> Hello, Jennifer. Hello, I've come to seduce you. <laughs> now that Tom's not home, <laughs> never. I wouldn't never do that, obviously, because of my respect and love for you. Of course. Um, but if you ever piss me off, it's happening. No, I'm just okay. kidding. Okay, <laughs> never. That's great. <laughs> never, never. <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. Never was, never would be. It's, mm. uh, I've never been a uh, try to steal a chick from another guy kind of dude. It's not my thing. Bad juju. It is, yeah. Like at, no, I, mean, I haven't been cheated on enough times. Really makes you think about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, also like it's whenever it's made, whenever you have to ask, is it okay? It's probably not. Like <laughs> right. you know what I if mean. If you have like, a conscience and an inner yeah, dialogue, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like if you have to go, hey, you know, so my best friend was dating this girl, and now they're broken up, and I'd really like to get with her. Should I? You asked the question. You already know the fucking answer. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Cuz you don't have to ask questions for things that you know are normal and okay. Yeah. yeah. Societally yeah, yeah. accepted. Yeah. Like if you have to ask, should I be receiving this blow job right now? The answer is probably no. And the truth is that you know it and you're doing it anyway. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. If you receive this blowjob on my birthday. <laughs> that, was, that was supposed to be my blowjob. It's not okay. Send it back to me post haste. Before I get, before someone that's in your face. <laughs> or I was going to try and figure out something that had to do with taste. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, uh, or you're going to be the one that gets the taste. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Was, you know, like you're going to have to suck my dick now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Are birthday blowjobs even a thing? I, I have no idea. Uh, it depends on the birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Is it only like ones that are divisible by five? Yes. <laughs> How about let's say birthdays prior to like the year nineteen or two thousand twenty or two thousand eighteen? <laughs> it was the last time I explicitly received a birthday favor like that i mean i would say i've that, received you know. other versions of it but like i i get the impression that for both of us oral sex is just a huge pain in the ass because it is it's like it's like oh god this is tiring and i can't breathe you know like <laughs> like <laughs> i can't breathe through my nose <laughs> you know like, like <laughs> <laughs> you can't get any good rhythm when you're coming up going like <gasps> every five seconds you know what i mean like that doesn't work 
Oh, stop, you, just, stop. you just put so many fucking weird ideas and you thoughts asked. into my head that I'm not. No, I meant like, you know, a uh, massive bush or huge genitalia that are just enveloping your entire face. <laughs> like, it'd be almost like to. I mean, for either of you, like, well, well, that, but you just, you don't do it 69. You do it another way. So you're not saying hanging into her nostrils. I don't know. <laughs> All I'm saying is that I get stuffed up easily. I'm stuffed up right now. That kind of stuff uh, does have a habit of obviously increasing salivary output and thus also uh, the mucous membranes uh, get a little crazy and your nose yeah. will get stuffed up too. It's just the way it works. Yeah. All, all I'm saying is that both of us, I guess, have just reached an age where it's more fun to do stuff with hands than mouth. True. I mean, it's, I think you know, as you get older, that's just kind of the... Yeah. Like when yeah. you're a kid, you want to taste everything. Everything. You want to stick your be... mouth on everything. Yeah. I think from the time you're a, a little kid until like you don't outgrow that when it comes to sex and stuff either. Not as a little kid as an as an adult. I want to make that point, but uh, you know, you always want to put things in your mouth. And then <laughs> after a certain point in time, you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> it's you know. <clears throat> means I gotta brush my teeth, then I gotta wash stuff, and yeah, that's I not doing it. Pick pubic hair out from between my teeth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know. Ah, it's stuck to the back of your fucking throat. Well, let's talk about Andrew Tate. <laughs> what do you want to talk about him for? Because he came into my Jennifer came up to me the other day and she was like, Andrew Tate's in jail again. And I, I didn't like, know he was ever out of jail. He was no, he's you know like a, I guess he's incapable of leaving Romania, but he's not been in prison for some time. Oh, hmm. <laughs> and uh, but he and his brother are apparently. Well, let's read the article. I have an article up here that's pretty interesting. Andrew Tate was detained on Tuesday, March 12th in Bucharest, but re released shortly thereafter following a ruling for the brothers, Andrew and Tristan, to be extradited to the United Kingdom to face charges stemming from multiple different allegations of rape and sexual assault from a decade ago. The extradition will take place after the conclusion of their current court case in Romania, which involved charges of human trafficking where they have been ordered to remain since last year. Uh, let's see. Um, Jack Beeson, one of the lawyers for the firm, further noted the information spoken of un unintentionally came from Andrew Tate's friend, an online influencer named Aden Ross, who inadvertently read a text message from Andrew Tate while live streaming. The message was an invite to stream for a week in Romania, but the text message from the Tate started by saying, as read aloud by Ross, I'm going to be leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. After reading the message, Ross did not seem to, to comprehend the severity of the statement nor realize that it was not meant to be read publicly. Given that it appears that Tate brothers intended to, in, intended to flee Romania, it's surprising that they were released from custody. So that's the latest and greatest about those assholes. <clears throat> Romania. But I think he's going to go to prison for a long time, and I want to celebrate that. Or he's going to go on the lam for a long time. Either way, he can't get on Twitter anymore. Well, maybe he'll still be on Twitter. Yeah, he, he still would. I really I really believe in my heart of hearts, especially with the VPNs and everything, that you can, yeah. you can beat that shit. You yeah. know, and pretty much do what the fuck you want. Maybe he'll go out in the middle of the fucking ocean like uh, that McAfee knucklehead did. Yeah, go to like Belize or someplace where they'll just harbor anybody. And yeah, he can, you know, live off of whatever ill-gotten gains more than likely he has. I just hope that he gets tied up in the court system long enough that it drains him of his money and then he goes to jail. Because yeah. he's such a piece of trash. Yes. I mean, he has so many times blamed rape victims, blamed, uh, been just misogynistic. Here, I've got a list of a couple of his worst tweets. 
Yeah. I do I do know how to administer CPR. However, I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. If you're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack and I don't even and I don't really know you, you're gonna die. No, not even if you're a friend. Wow. Yeah. That's classy. Yeah, it is. If you put your position yourself in the position to be raped, you must bear some responsibility. Well, we'll see how he feels about that if he's in prison. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, you put yourself in the position to be raped. Why would you be with a woman who's not a virgin anyway? She is used good secondhand. <laughs> so he's only ever had sex with virgins. Well, and more than likely underage ones. Yeah. I mean, from what I understand of the, uh, the human being, I don't even want to call him a man. Well, I wouldn't even call him a human being. So people defend depression. They get angry when I say this because they need bullshit to justify their own failures. By admitting I'm right, they need to work hard to make themselves happy. To avoid the work, argue with me and pretend depression is a thing. So he doesn't believe in depression. Doesn't sound like it. I'm not a rapist, but I like the idea of just being able to do what I want. I like being free. <laughs> that's that's that something a rapist would say. Quite <laughs> possibly the most disgusting uh, sentence I've heard in quite some time. I'm not a rapist, but I like to be able to do what I want. Read the Bible. Every single man has had multiple wives. Not a single woman had multiple husbands. It's against the will of God. It's disgusting. That's, yeah, that's something. The now, fact that he could even find multiple women that wanted him is uh, sad. The best thing I've seen in all of this is that he posts a picture of himself with his Bugatti or whatever. And, and it says, hello, Greta Thunberg. Thunberg. Uh, I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has a w, uh, W16 8 liter quad turbo. My two Ferrari 8112 Petazone have 6.5 liter uh, V12s. This is just the start. Please list. Please provide your email address so I can send a, a complete list of my car collection and their respective enormous emissions. And her response to him was, "Yes, do please enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com." <laughs> <laughs> So he said, thank you for confirming your email by your email address that you have a small penis, Greta Thunberg. The world was curious. Wow. And I, and I do agree you should get a life. And then someone else responded to him with, I'll explain the joke for, for you. It is not her actual email address. This was just a message to you. Simply writing get a life pencil dick wouldn't have been as entertaining. Your <laughs> choice was pure spite. She deployed intelligence and a sense of fun because she is smarter than you. <laughs> wow i wouldn't even say a sense of spite it was just fucking lame it was it was weak so lame yeah it like, was uh, it uh, was not, like, uh, yeah you. yeah that'd be you you got my dick my dick's big i got i got a big dick and you as a lady got a little dick <laughs> the fucking jackass my favorite one though here is andrew tate i don't sleep with vaccinated women steph Steph Jane 0989 at Twitter says, Yay, the vaccine work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. But yeah, I just I wanted to clown on this guy for a little bit because he, he is just tremendously pathetic and sad and ridiculous and um a, a bad example of a human being. And claims to be this big alpha guy, right? And well, as soon as a guy claims to be an alpha, yeah. you automatically know that he is a d bag who is overcompensating for something. Yeah, you don't need to announce what you are if you are it, right? Yeah, yeah. To me, that's just the same as saying I'm okay. I used to work with a woman who would always say to me, oh, well, the problem with the two of us and why we don't really get along good is because I'm a type A personality, which is essentially the same exact thing as calling yourself right. an alpha, it you is. know, and I'm like, and taking I, what the fuck it. does that even mean? Yeah. Like, oh, you're an alpha. Well, here, let me get this straight. You lie about 
everything in your fucking life and you're deceptive about everything you don't have any kind of meaningful relationship and you're fucking miserable yeah. is that what being type a is about yeah yeah i'm you're, glad i'm not yeah you're a type a so you're a, let's see let me get this you're aggressive you're combative you're hostile you're suspicious mm -hmm. and you push people away as a rule and you also feel the need to lie about everything because you're probably thoroughly embarrassed about something within yeah. yourself. Yeah, I think it depends on who you're talking about. But yeah, that factors in too. Yeah. Or, or they just shift blame or ignore completely. I was talking about my specific example. With yeah, that I one. was it's thinking just, yeah. of, I have a couple examples and they're sort of amalgamating into one person in my head right now who is horrifying and, and, and scary <laughs> and, and I want my binky <laughs> I want my binky don't let him win don't get your binky no I'm just going to plow through another beer and we're going to talk about our song of the week <gasps> song of the week song of the week no time for losers. It's song <laughs> of the week. Once again, <laughs> this week my song is goes out in dedication to uh, my recently late mother, um, who introduced me to music as I understand it, and was my first influence into that. And um, the song that I want to share is called uh, The Letter by The Box Tops. And this is just a song, a very simple song about a guy who's estranged from his wife or girlfriend and I, I, presumably just away from home, not by his own choice. I feel like it was like a Vietnam era thing. That's how it feels. Like it's yeah. like a... It's like, like a war, war, like he's away taking care of, you know, war business. Right. And, uh, right. you know. Right, yeah. And he's going to hop on a plane and go home because he just got a letter from his wife. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always loved that song. I listened to it for years and years. And as I said, you know, my mom just passed the other day. And uh, in, in, in memory of her, I like this song to be played so obviously you know it's in the playlist guys you just go to our, our youtube channel and uh if you look on the main channel if you scroll down you should see a playlist that says songs recommended by tom and mike mike what is your song of the go week? give it a listen yes please do we put and a lot think of, of mama there. and think of mama when you do it yeah a lot of yeah it's mama approved mama cash approves yep Yep, that's what I've been calling her forever. Um, my song was just uh, just a goofy song. I mean, I happen to be listening to like uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, um, and it. I guess Spotify sometimes just throws a bunch of songs in that will just continue playing through if uh -huh. you have it do that. Yeah, and it started playing Steppenwolf for me, and I forgot how much I liked the song Jupiter's Child, so that's the one that I picked. Yeah, and if for nothing else, towards the end of the song, there is a drum fill, and anybody that knows me knows that I have an unhealthy obsession with drum fills and small drum solos. And back in the days of tapes, I would fucking rewind and play them relentlessly. Uh, and this was probably one of the ones that I did at one point in time or another, you know. So another another '60s song. Nice. I really got to think that between you know 1960 and 1972, like some of the greatest music ever recorded was was done. And I mean, a lot of that influenced by stuff from the 30s, 40s, <coughs> 50s, etc. But well, it's circular. Just such an amazing yeah. fucking uh, time circular. frame. Not cyclical. Circular. Cyclical. Yeah, it's yeah. cyclical. Like these things keep reinventing themselves. Like, yeah. you know, like, I, I you know, one of these times. Uh, 
<laughs> my dog just suddenly decided to speak up there. I don't know that she she maybe the disagrees with the sixties as being the best musical era. I don't know. I disagree. It was eighties pop. <laughs> yeah, or she's telling me, "Hey, there's a fucking cat down here, and I'm going to shit on the carpet." I don't know. It could have been either. We'll never know. <laughs> well, I'll know when I go well, down. You'll know. Yeah, you'll know. Yeah. You'll figure it I'll out. I'll know. Some of you may not. <laughs> but um, no, it is interesting how Spotify, like, it, if you end a playlist, it just keeps playing and just randomly picks stuff for you. Or, like, <laughs> now if you have an existing playlist, it does, like, a smart thing where, like, it has, like, a smart shuffle there. It just mm-hmm. starts adding songs randomly to the playlist. I, um, I, I disagree a little bit about it being smart because like my youngest uh loves system of a down for some reason and i have some system of a down and then i have like a couple of other like 70s 60s things that she likes like wild thing by the trogs and like uh another song and then it suddenly started playing slayer (laughs) <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that? like, okay, I understand that I went from System of a Down to like the Trogs. I get that that's a weird transition, but Slayer did not belong in there. I so gotta, I gotta ask, what what is going on with this Goldilocks thing on your shoulder? I just, just, uh, I have been doing a little bit of a different system with my hair. Like, uh, I don't know if you're familiar. Well, I have curly hair. Yes. And my hair has been kind of dry recently, and I'm not very satisfied with the way that it's looked. And I've been going with, there is a a system of doing what's called a co-wash instead of shampoo and conditioner. You use a co-wash, which is, the co-wash is a conditioning wash. Co-wash sounds like some kind of like indictment from another country. (laughs) You've been. You, I've declared a co-wash on you. It's actually a setting on a on a in a car wash. <laughs> but uh, as a result of me doing this and not having my hair get dried up by shampoo, I've ended up with like a bunch of like corkscrew type curls, Shirley Temple curls, as my mother would call them. And you look just, at how springy that is. Yeah, like I what you can't even do anything with them. Uh, I mean, normally I got my hair pulled back just because my hair is down. It's the way it looks. If I if I brush through it, it would it would go away, and my hair would just be like curly and wavy. But I actually kind of like them because hmm. my mom's always liked them, so it doesn't really bother me. Plus, and I can do shit like that. They're, just, <laughs> they're very distracting. I'm sorry. It's okay. I was just like the whole time I've been staring at it, and I was like, how am I gonna? Here. There you go. Now I can make now I can make a picture for the for the thumbnail. There you go. Do that face. <laughs> Didn't you have a character that did that body shape back in the day? I remember. I don't remember. He had a. I think his name was Clarence or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. I've done a lot of things and I've forgotten about a lot of things. Well, yeah. I mean, we're, what the hell, dude? I think this month it's four years, this podcast. In fact, yes. In fact, I think it is, but I think this is our fourth year. Wow. Our fucking podcast is uh, just about ready for preschool. Yep. Yep. Go and get it in education. COVID baby. Born from the demented hell spot of I can't Have you ever played a didgeridoo? I have not, but I really would love to. Uh, I just find that they're not readily available around here. You have to go to like a hippie shop or something, like a drum, like a percussion shop or something, mm. someplace like that. Someplace that, right, like, man. that specifically caters to drummers, not just like a music world, because that's the place they'll have the weird tribal drums, and then you can find like a didgeridoo there. But uh, I had a friend who had one. And I learned, I got pretty good at it. Like I learned how to play it and it's, 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 um, 
it's not like any other instrument because instead of like it's almost like letting go of the, the muscles in your mouth as opposed to controlling them it's almost like just letting them flow and, and you get and done just, and your mouth is all fucking agape like a yeah, chick mm, doing horse porn yeah <laughs> oh, <laughs> it lifts her everywhere great. that's what it feels like when you're when you're using it I goatee's mean, it butthole like, blah, 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 mr hands but yeah they're pretty cool they're i i would love to own one huh. one day i'm gonna pick one up but well then maybe i'll get to play one <laughs> yeah I'm sure yeah, it'll be open. I'll be like, you know, it'd be cool to freak out my cats and my dog with that. See how they react. <laughs> they'll be, they'll be like, awesome, dude. You brought this horrible thing. I'm gonna destroy it as soon as your back is turned. Did I ever tell you about my one cat? Like, she has never had kittens. But like, if I play kitten sounds or if I make kitten sounds, she will run up to me and look in my mouth. <laughs> like I'm hiding kittens inside of my mouth. That's funny. I'm like, what do you think I'm doing? Fucking eating them or something? And they're screaming out of my mouth. Which it's one crazy. is this? Uh, Polly. Polly. Okay. It's um um uh, Simon's sister. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she's the knucklehead. She'll like fucking sit there and be like, looking in my mouth. I don't know. It's weird. Cats are fucking weird. Cats are so strange. Well, like, I'll be upstairs in the attic with Jennifer, and we'll just be, like, upstairs hanging out. And he'll be at the base of the stairs going... (laughs) Just this long, pathetic cry. Yeah. I know that cry. I've heard it before. Pardon me! Chase, did you did you hit your cough button there? Because that second one didn't make any noise. Yeah, I did hit my cough ah, button. Okay. But now my nose is stuffy. Hold on a second. My nose is all stuffed up like I was eating some pussy. The wheat in beer makes me stuffy. I think. I don't think it's like a celiac thing. I just think that's something common with certain like grains. Like a lot of people seem to get a little stuffy. Maybe it's yeah. just I don't know. I avoid shredded wheat. I don't want a stuffy nose. Yeah. You celiac fucking uh, adjacent issue having motherfucker. <laughs> 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 you celiac adjacent issue having motherfucker. That could be a good uh, that title. Could be a good, title. A title. Celiac yeah. adjacent, Title. a celiac adjacent. Well, I can't Issue use, having motherfucker. I can't. I'd have to be MF or Mofo. Yeah, MF or yeah, Mofo. Mofo, Mofo would probably be good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, my name is uh, you know instead of Seth Brundle from The Fly, it's Seth Grundle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, grundle i used to work with a guy who would always talk about his grundle and i was always like i don't know why you're telling me about your fucking grundle it's my strip it's my grundle and i'll cry Cry if if i I want want to to. cry if i want to (laughs) you just split down the middle oh like you've been sealed it's like when i was okay so i don't think i've ever mentioned this to anyone before if I have, I don't remember. Ooh. But when I was very young, I thought that um, that was like proof that I had originally had more sex organs, like I'd been a hermaphrodite or something, and that they had sealed me up and taken away when I was a kid. <laughs> I'm not that, kidding. That fucking seam that runs from your nutsack down to your taint and into yeah. your butthole. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "That's a scar, Tom. You had a badge." Yeah, that's what you I was thinking. You were a math motherfucker. Yeah, everything I say has motherfucker after it, so you can't use that, obviously. But motherfucker, <laughs> you you celiac adjacent issue having her math motherfucker. 
Oh yeah, that'll really get us lots of hits on, <laughs> on YouTube. People will be like, I this need to been... see what this is. A celiac adjacent issue having hermaphrodite? Back I'm interested. We were, back when we were doing uh, uh, unintelligible gaming back in the day, the, the hottest, the, the most views of any video we had was one of the Honey Pop videos. And it was, the title of the video was Blowjob Tokens. I remember. I remember yeah. that one. I was just so, talking about when we did like the the uh, the question ones. We're like talking about uh, where we did the episode on on how uh, whether a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's mouth. I was literally oh, yeah. just talking about that today. Yeah. What the hell was? What did we call that? I don't fucking remember. Was it? There was a clever name for it. But I can't remember what the hell it was. Hold on. I bet I have it somewhere. I think, think like the outcome of that was what? That we found that like a dog's mouth was only slightly cleaner than a person's because of like certain reasons and was not antiseptic. Like certain people have made right. it sound like, you know. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, if you have a cut, let the dog lick it and it'll be cleaner. No. Yeah, that was nonsense. But yeah. It, <laughs> no. It was just that a lot of the, the, the bacteria that exist in a dog's mouth don't have an effect on humans or an interest in humans. Yeah, and a lot of the stuff is not, like, because people's mouths are just fucking filthy. Well, so are dogs. That's the point. Yeah. It's just that our mouths are more toxic to us than a dog's mouth, typically. But if you get bit by anything, you're you're in bad shape. Especially you know? a heel monster. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's terrifying. Um, Normally... I would uh, say something like we can talk about this another time and everything. But uh, what I am going to say is something slightly different. And that is, um, you know, in honor of Mama Cash, we did this episode. Um, you know, and I want to make that point uh, and say it again. She was an amazing woman and deserves to be remembered and uh through our introduction here i'm sure our listeners will uh will appreciate that knowledge and um we'll see you again one day we will and hopefully you'll be waiting to um you know laugh at the fact that i can't believe you threw those cookies away and that's how i'm gonna end it today man that's it yeah love you mama cash godspeed yeah.